Here at amg-news.com is a story by Medea Greer entitled CERN, Gateway to Hell. Scientists and the elite try to hide what really happened at CERN. Demonic entities, extra dimensions. In this article, we talk about the connection of the Rockefeller family dynasty to CERN. CERN is preparing for a major announcement that they discovered something inside the collisions happening at the LHC, which stands for the Large Hadron Collider. I have warned extensively about CERN, writes the author, and believe that the Illuminati is celebrating the opening of the fifth dimension, one beyond space and time. CERN also invented the Internet, a matrix system that now covers the Earth. The Internet has now taken over everything about life. Everything is wired. The last thing that isn't wired is the human body. But implantable devices are coming to wire the human body to the World Wide Web. That is why mandatory chipping will come to pass. Because every human must become a literal part of the Internet or the World Wide Web, which is an analog of 666. One thing I've always been curious about was the financing of CERN. Who's behind the machine? We know CERN has received taxpayer money from several governments across the world. But many do not realize that the Rockefellers are behind a non-profit charity who funds all donations from the U.S. directly to Geneva. This means the Rockefellers control a huge amount of financing CERN's operations. The Rockefellers also send their own scientists to CERN to conduct experiments. These particle physicists are from Rockefeller University and are some of the top scientists in the world. They have been instrumental in discovering new particles at CERN. CERN now prepares to announce a huge discovery very soon. Some scientists have said this discovery will usher in a new golden era of humanity. Did CERN create a black hole inside the Earth? CERN is attacking this planet. I try to bring into reality the presence of demons and possibly even the devil himself. Smashing particles at the speed of light is, in my theory, attacking God himself. And as we know, without light, there would be no life. The LHC facility on the French-Swiss border is changing weather patterns and even possibly attracting meteors with the huge magnetic force it puts out. CERN has many backers and many objectors. But only CERN itself can address the worries of the people. They choose not to. Why? I found a recent publication of online of eerie-looking photos taken above CERN, and there's some pretty odd, weird terrifying, scary, and even apocalyptic scenes unfolding right in the weather patterns crossing the sky above the LHC. These unusual weather patterns have conspiracy theorists shouting from the top of the tower again. And this time they have real reason to. The European Organization for Nuclear Research is under attack from skeptics who believe that its stated scientific aims mask a darker purpose. A photograph taken of the sky above CERN. Well, here's that photograph of which we spoke earlier, but we never got to see. This is the, this is when they were uh, turning, 
the collider on and off again, or off and on again. And evidently that's the vortex it created, right above Geneva. That is ama an amazing photo. From Joël Rodrigue. This has got some internet theorists worried about activities at the LHC. On June the 24th, a Facebook user called Joel Rodrigue posted a photograph of a storm above the research center, which is on the border of France and Switzerland. New images of bizarre cloud formations above the CERN collider could be shocking proof of the world's biggest experiment about to tear open a portal to another dimension. That is, if you are inclined to believe the latest conspiracy theory surrounding the monster machine. A video claims two images showing cloud and light over the LHC at Geneva were taken the same day that CERN scientists began a new awake experiment, changing the way it smashes particles. The film is entitled what portal did CERN open now? Strange clouds hover above the LHC. It was made by Freedom Fighter Times, a channel on YouTube, and raised major concerns about what the collider is being used for. The narrator of the video claims the two images have been forensically researched and found to be genuine and not faked. He said, It is not a background you can get on Google. It's an actual picture, taken in 2016. It's directly over CERN, and the cloud formation is very telling. The energy that is being produced, you can actually see that by way of the lightning strikes. He asked viewers if they were concerned about CERN and advised they should be. He said, how much energy did CERN pull into itself? Is this why the weather is so crazy all over the planet? There are other colliders all over the world. The video showed the CERN schedule for the collider, which showed an experiment called Awake. The narrator said, Is it a coincidence they had just started the Awake experiment? This insane ball of energy was directly over the LHC. Some people reported seeing faces in it. It is amazing they keep messing with nature and denying it. What is in the cloud? Some say it is lightning or a massive ball of energy. What portals and doors are being opened in this cloud? Some of the conspiracy theories about CERN have included that it is being used as a portal to allow Satan to return to Earth. Last October, Express.co.uk exclusively revealed claims from former Whitby Town Councillor Simon Parks that he held a global mediation to prevent this from happening. The LHC is the world's largest and most powerful collider and is actually used to smash particles at close to the speed of light. The curious machine developed across a 16-mile ring of superconducting magnets has had critics before amidst claims it would inadvertently create a black hole that could swallow the whole world.
CERN, of course, denies trying to change our weather. But it has carried out experiments to create artificial clouds to better understand global warming. The official line is that the AWAKE experiments are about developing a new type of accelerator.